You are listening to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7 FM, the event Santa Cruz radio show. I am your host, Matthew Swinnerton. And like I mentioned before, at the start of the show, we have Cement Ship that's going to be playing some live songs for us. I think Cement Ship was the band of the year for the 2019 Nexty, so we look forward to inviting or having them back on the show. But we're going to start off with Dave Dunning. Now, Dave is part of, or in, I guess, the founder of Legends Theatrical. Um, how you doing, Dave? Doing great. Okay, so I want to find out, like, why does... How did you start this company? What was the idea of Legend Theatrical? I mean, there's like you're a smart guy; you can do a lot of things. Why? Why this? Well, if I was smart, I wouldn't would have done this. I wouldn't do something else. Wait, what is it first? What's okay? What's... So, so uh, Legend Theatrical does a, a pretty broad variety of things. Mm -hmm. um, mainly, that keeps us relevant. So, we started off as a scenic design and construction company, mm -hmm. meaning we built sets, and and I used to sets build for what. For at the time when I first started, it was mainly for theatrical productions. Okay. Um, and we were mainly doing stuff down in LA. I was living up here, building them up here, trucking them to LA because I could do it, frankly, cheaper than they could in LA. Oh, interesting. So I did the whole, you know, find random empty warehouses to build in and, and then start working for a lot of places up here as well. Yeah. And then as time went on, I, I also did a lot of lighting at the time. I, I got an actual. Believe it or not, these degrees exist, but a technical degree in design for theater. Oh, cool. yeah. um, and so in that process, I was doing a lot of lighting as well. And over time, I started having clients that we would come in and do a show for that would then ask, hey, can you guys upgrade our existing lighting? And over time, that turned into now we're a pretty major installation company for building out performing arts centers and theaters. And that's morphed also into corporate environments because we're pretty specialized in what we do. So we do a lot of even AV stuff for hotels and restaurants and bars and everything from big rigging systems to very simple stuff and lighting, audio, the whole nine yards. So we do consulting. We still do a lot of live production work. We have a full rental house um, at, that carries everything from mobile stages and staging to audio, video Which equipment, huge. lighting, yeah. all kinds over of stuff. Over in Scotts Valley, right? Yeah, over in Scotts Valley. So over time, it's just kind of morphed into doing encompassing everything kind of in the technical realm of uh, production work. But now I feel like you've even morphed a little bit to something else or gone down a different <laughs> rabbit hole yeah. of event production. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. We, we basically helped do event production for years. Every event we're on, we're helping do the event production in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. We've done, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of events, right? Thousands probably. So. In a lot of cases, we end up doing a, the lion's share of the work. And at one point, um, early last year, I, yeah, was, this is last year because uh, this is gonna be our second year doing this particular one. I thought to myself, what am I doing? Like, I'm, I'm just a hired hand for all these festivals and yeah. I do tons of the work. So why don't we just produce our own festival? We have the tools to do it. Yeah. Um, so I had approached, uh, Tyler over at, at Roaring Camp, because that's a great venue, and we had actually just that's done nice. an event there, and said, hey, what do you think about producing some events with me? And um, he said, that's really funny that you ask, because I've been kind of kicking around the same idea. So um, together we did uh, the first Brewgrass Festival, uh, which was last year, right. um, in early October. And it was, we to be honest, we kind of put it together pretty quick, somewhat last minute, so from a marketing standpoint, we were really holding our breath. and um, But people loved it. Though. Yeah, we ended up having a much better turnout than we had even anticipated. So. And of course you were stressed to like the last minute. Oh, like nobody's going to show at every right. event, and of course they did. And, yeah. and it's always the, the advanced sales tickets, right? Those yeah. They always come in at the very last minute, and you're looking at it like a week out going, okay, we have 45 tickets sold. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're totally going to eat it. Is that like the whole like... I mean, is that just like life of events, or is that just Santa Cruz that everybody buys uh, tickets a day of? It's life. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was talking to poor Tyler off the cliff, yeah. uh, I said, look, when, when I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, I figure out on Friday night what I'm going to do yeah, on Saturday. Exactly. And, I, and for me, I'm always looking at options, right? And I've got kids and all that, so... Yeah. You know, are we do we have a soccer game and you know, are, are friends coming over, or whatever it may be. So a lot of times for me, I just roll with the yeah. at the gate ticket, anyways. But we love it, 
if people like to buy them in advance, because then we know how many people are coming. And you save money anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You save five bucks at least on this one. Yeah. And if you're coming in with a couple of people, that turns into a lot of money. Exactly, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the event? Like, what, first, what day is it? Um, it's, it's coming up soon, like really soon, right? Yeah, October 5th. October so 5th. Next week. So next week, it's coming soon. Um, when somebody, like, comes in the gate, what, what's the experience? What are they going to be involved in? So it's going to be pretty killer. So okay. because we're part of the producing organization of this, we're kind of bringing in all kinds of stuff. So we're going to have both of our mobile stages there for those that went cool. to Mountain Soul or Mountain, uh, the Redwood, uh, uh, Redwood Festival, or Redwood mm -hmm. Fair, sorry. Um, th those kind of stages, some of those were our stages. Okay. Um, it's going to be that kind of a setup. And then we'll have a killer audio system. We're actually, the main stage goes late enough that we're actually going to be able to do lighting. Um, oh, and cool. we do a pretty good lighting show, I think. We actually just came back from doing uh, Santa Cruz Bikes uh, corporate party oh, in yeah. Downingville, which was... I, actually, I saw some pictures. Pretty off yeah. the charts. And um, and we did the lighting and audio up there, and uh, it was it was pretty killer. So if you've ever gone to any of the shows that I've done lighting for, yeah. it's pretty fun. I think that this is a perfect time of the year for this type of event because it's still warm enough. It's still light enough. We'll go for like goes on light into the evening, but it gets dark at the right time. Yeah, so exactly. you get like the best of both. And worlds. it's kind of you know we're rolling into fall. You want to have that beer? I mean, we've yeah. got. I mean, it's definitely something I want to hit on too. Is we, we're bringing in a ton of local breweries. So as of right now, there's ten local breweries committed. Do you have uh, them? Like, do you have a list of them? I do. I want to hear I do. them. There, um, and then we have a, we have another four or so that are um, kind of waiting in the wings that we're hopefully are going to have on board, but. So right now we've got um, Santa Cruz Cider, Humble Sea, of course, because yes, they're Humble awesome C. and doing tons of this kind of stuff. Uh, Shanty, Alvarado, Woodhouse Blending, Santa Cruz Scrumpy, um, Elkhorn Slough, Seabright, and Discretion. Um, those guys are all committed, and then we've got, I won't list them yet just in case, but uh, we've got another four of some local ones, one of which is one of my favorites oh, that cool. I'm hoping decides to come. <laughs> so there's lots of killer local beer. Isn't that nice when you like, you know, personally like, okay, I'm gonna put in the thing that I like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. And then we've got a great lineup of bands. Um, I think it's a total of, I think it's eight bands, if I recall. What are a few of them, please? Yeah, so we're, um, a lot of them are people, are bands that people know locally. Um, and some of which, we also do the Boulder Creek Fire yeah. Barbecue and Dance, and some of these folks actually played at that as well, and they were awesome. Um, so we start off uh, with a uh, pocket full of pennies, and then we've got Hank and Ella and the Fine Country Band, which They're are really amazing. fun. They played at Boulder Creek. Um, Mosh V Band, uh, Risky Biscuits, and they're pretty fun. Wild and Blue, Willie T. Taylor, Rattle Can, Miss Leo and her Bluegrass Boys. And then uh, we kind of have a, a dual headliner with Tim Bloom, who's using the Coffus Brothers as his backing band oh, really? so that's going to be pretty killer oh nice and then uh and then the hackensaw boys are going to wrap it up at the end of the night cool so um on the show we don't talk about pricing but i want to know information if somebody wants to find out about the event because where what's the website so the best thing to do is go to the roaring camp website so okay. if you go to roaringcamp.com and i actually checked it right before walking in so i could get instructions okay so go to the roaringcamp.com uh, website and just Finger scroll, one little scroll, you'll get to the upcoming events and you'll see, you click on that and it takes you to the things that are coming up, which the next thing is the Brewgrass Festival. Click on that, there's more information, pricing, all that kind of stuff. You know, I just thought about it. Um, there's also a VIP like yeah. thing. What, what was that yeah, about? so there's also, you can, you can add, do an add on to the ticket and do okay. a VIP train, which has uh, tasting on board the train That's and we're putting cool. a sound system on the train with, uh, and there'll be two different bands that play on the train. Where does the train go? It, the, the regular loop up really? through the Redwoods. So it's pretty fun. Oh, People awesome. that did it last year had an absolute blast. And most importantly, the bands that did it actually had a blast too. So they were really into it. It was pretty fun. I feel like that needs to be videoed. Probably yeah, should be. Yeah, that should, probably should be. That should be. Look at a bug on me. Yeah, um, cool. Okay, so again, quite, um, I know we just said it, but I want to make sure everybody knows if they want to find out more information about the event, where do they go? RoaringCamp.com. Awesome. And you can find it on there. 11.30 is when uh, the first band starts on October 5th. And if... Somebody wants to put on a huge event with an awesome stage, Legend Theatrical. What's your website? Legendtheatrical.com. No S, though. Okay, Legend, Legend, Legend Theatrical.com. Theatrical. That's the thing that throws people off. Okay, <laughs> cool. Hey, well, thank you so much, Dave, for being on the show. And um, 
I yeah, guess I know where I'm going to be on October 5th. Yeah, awesome. We'll look forward to seeing you. Cool. Okay, you're listening.